Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Dr. Ed here. And um, hope you're all uh, having a wonderful interview season. Uh, for those of you uh, who uh, have started interviews and for others who are still waiting for the interview offers, it's still early November, so uh, hang on. Um, just a few words about uh, you know what's been happening at uh, uh, the Facebook group. So I see a lot of discussions uh, happening, uh, a lot of interview questions being discussed. So thank you very much for all your input and contributions. Um, at uh, edformedus.com, you can kind of have a look at all the uh, services that, um, that are offered, including online practice interviews. I've had a couple of uh, online practice interviews and I've also um, posted some uh, video clips and audio clips, of course, of uh, some of the answers that I really felt was, uh, was excellent. And I really wanted to share some of those uh, uh, responses with every one of you. Um, with that, we're going to start with um, the thank you letters. And um, now the thank you letters, so let's let's think about that a little bit a lot now the whole issue is this whole thing about writing a letter to uh, someone in the program and getting a response if you really think about it it's really a game um, you are tr you know you're kind of um, sending them a letter showing that you are very interested in their program and you feel that uh, you know by um, letting you uh, letting them know about your interest in that program that they're going to rank you high um, then there's a program who also tries to think in the same way that is if they will reply back to you um, that uh, you know that uh, they are that you feel that uh, the program is interested in you and the goal of the program of course is that you rank them the highest as possible um, and the programs also know that it's the same letter that's going to be sent out to every program you interview. So, um, so having said that, you know, the, if you look at some other groups and other um, blogs on the internet and some YouTube videos, some might even question that uh, a thank you letter is not important. But I think a more important question is, you know, what's the harm in sending a thank you letter? In my opinion, there is no harm, and um, you know it. The benefits of sending these thank you letters are you're basically showing gratitude uh, to the program for taking their time and effort in having you there and meet with uh, the faculty. And honestly, it's common courtesy to thank um, your interviewers uh, for uh, for the interview, and. Um, so, uh, so with that in mind, um, you know, the one thing I do want to say is uh, no, a program director is not going to rank you low just because you didn't send a thank you letter. That's I've never heard of that happening, and it shouldn't. Um, so, you know, I, I think it's just not. It's, it's just a good courtesy, a good um, way of uh, you know, good a good thing to uh, send a thank you letter to the programs. And um, okay, let's see what else I have here. Okay, now uh, so I'm gonna share some of the uh, in the thank you letters that I have here. Some of them were written by me, and some of them were sent to me by applicants whom I interviewed uh, during my career. And I'll kind of share those with you. Um, I hope you're all able to hear and. Let me just write that. Let me know if you have trouble hearing me because there's no way for me to know that. Okay, so, so the most important thank you letter is to the program director, of course. You know, um, irrespective of what other faculty or residents think, it's the program director who has the final say in how they're going to rank you um, in the rank order list. 
Okay, so let's look at the first, uh, this letter. This is a uh, letter to the program director. I send this out. So it starts with um, the subject, thank you for the residency interview on uh, so-and-so January. So that's kind of uh, a nice um, subject line. Now, uh, interestingly, I have to say, looking at my own letters that I wrote so many years ago, I, I myself am not happy with some of my letters, and I'll kind of point out some of the mistakes. And so I write, uh, you know, to Dr. So-and-so, and I don't need, and I, I would write program director, department of medicine, so-and-so hospital, that's all not needed. You can just write dear doctor, um, whatever. So it says, thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to have an interview with you on uh, so-and-so date. And um, uh, and then I write, it was very interesting to learn about your passion for teaching. I have been teaching anatomy to nursing students for the past one year and agree that teaching requires a totally different set of skills in trying to effectively pass on the message to the audience. I believe that I can greatly contribute to the program by using my teaching skills to train medical students. The goal here is that, um, so this seems like this was a discussion that happened between me and the program director. So I'm trying to personalize this letter to the program director and trying to um, have them recall this exchange that, that, that happened. Now, interestingly, this uh, letter was dated just one day after the interview. So keep that in mind. Don't send a letter you know, a week or two weeks later, they're just not gonna remember you. Okay, so um, the second paragraph says, um, after getting the information about the program from you, Dr. So, 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 I strongly believe that the program is a perfect fit for me. And then I try to um, personalize it. Um, the unique community hospital setting with an educational environment supported by a strong teaching faculty will offer me a wonderful learning experience. The morning rounds with the case discussion and the EKG demonstrated the high level of interaction between the attendings and the residents. So this must have been some case that was discussed and some had some interesting EKG findings. So you see, I'm trying to personalize um, the letter as much as possible to this program and what everything that happened at the visit. So that's important. That's how your letter is gonna stand out from other letters. The director's rounds by Dr. So-and-so stress the importance of applying evidence-based medicine in patient care. Grand rounds like the one on diastolic heart failure will let me update myself with advances in medicine. Also, the excellent sense of camaraderie among the residents will help me work to my fullest potential. The next paragraph, I was impressed to note the abundant research opportunities available, blah, blah, blah. I believe I can learn more about research and use the skills by actively involving myself in clinical research projects while also preparing myself for a subspecialty. So you can see that's a sentence I can use in any letter, and I think I just added it up. Um, and then please feel free to contact me if any further information is required from me. I'm very keen to work with you as an active and enthusiastic resident in the internal medicine program at so and so. Thanking you sincerely. So, um, you know, uh, I think points to note, uh, send it the next day. Um, I think no more than three paragraphs, just stick it to two or three paragraphs at the very most. Um, they're just not gonna have time to read beyond that and then they're just gonna delete it. So that was one letter which I felt was very nicely written. Um, and uh, let's look at some other letters. And so this was another letter that I wrote uh, to, again to the program director and I think the discussion was about shock and its clinical manifestations. Um, and I'm very eager to put my knowledge in actual clinical practice. So something that was you know, um, discussed at the visit or at the interview, I'm putting that in my letter. Because what I'm trying to say is you know, this letter should, um, so someone reading this letter would know exactly that you know, that uh, this letter is personalized to them. And I, I think adding that personal touch will make your letter stand out from others. And then I write here, um, the hospital tour with, tour with Dr. So-and-so exposed me to the numerous facilities available, both clinical and academic that I use, uh, and I, I didn't spell check it, that I hope to use during my, that are, that I will use during my residency training in the best interests of patient care. 
And I think there was something about a research rotation called EBM, evidence-based medicine. So that was something unique about the program. So I um, put that in my letter to the program director. It, it seems like uh, they were very uh, fond about it. And then again, you know, for this is to another program director, um, very similarly structured. Uh, and then I tried to personalize this. It was a pleasure to discuss with you the differences between the healthcare system and residency training in the US and India. It was very interesting to learn how the division of geriatrics as at so-and-so is strong with the acute care for the elderly delirium unit, blah, 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 and uh, some rotation at the VA Medical Center. I, don't, I really don't know why I wrote this, but um, um, I think I was just trying to, I, I think that was again discussed at the visit. Okay, and so you have to like, you know, if there are some unique aspects of the program, um, I really think you should uh, tell the program director how you found it very interesting, why you liked it, and how it's gonna help you be a better clinician. Okay, now, um, so, if there is a personal contact um, that, uh, you know, so if, if you're interviewing with a program director and that program director knows an attending that you worked with or one of your letter writers, uh, I think it's nice to um, add it to the letter uh, to the program director. For example, this letter that I wrote to a program director, I write, I was delighted to know that you had also been a member of the research team with so-and-so at the uh, clinic. And, um, and then I talk a little bit more about research that was done. And you, know, you can also um, personalize it saying the noon conference by so-and-so was excellent and I would like to grow as a confident physician by learning under the guidance of so-and-so. So make sure you note down the names of all the you know, resident physicians, attend, uh, teaching faculty, who uh, you would have come across on that day. Okay, then it also talk about, um, um, now let, let's look at this letter. And uh, so this program, I think they had something about web-based learning, um, something that they were just starting at that time. So I just wrote, I'm very impressed with the web-based learning that the program has to offer and uh, that it, I can learn more efficiently with this online resource, just trying to complement them on all the hard work and effort uh, they put in to develop that. And um, if there is someone, and uh, so if, if there is someone from your med school who had um, uh, trained at that program, you know, uh, so this is what I wrote. I also had an opportunity to speak with so-and-so, a graduate from the UConn residency program, and she happens to be a graduate of my med school too. So this way, what's happening is, uh, again, you're personalizing um, the letter to the program director, and there's a good chance a program director will call or, you know, get in touch with this uh, resident graduate as to, hey, you know, um, how did your interaction go? Uh, with uh, uh, with you as the applicant. So this is interesting. Um, so this was one program director where, you know, we talked about um, uh, if not medicine, what would you do? And, you know, as you saw in my group, I wrote about being a musician. And um, so I write, it was very interesting to know about your passion for music. This is a letter to the program director by trying to explain uh, the similarities between a musician and a physician. I do believe that music and medicine gel together very well. Also, thank you for expressing interest in my project, um, something like that. Okay. And again, you know, um, just keep uh, personalizing it. It was a very interesting and unique opportunity to have an informal discussion and a question answer session with you, also in the cafeteria and other faculty members one-on-one. -on -one. And then there was something about resident re reports on NIPPV, non-invasive positive pressure ventilation, that kind of a thing. So that's that. So that's what um, you can put in your letter to the program director. Like I said, no more than three paragraphs. Two is even better. And um, okay, this was a very very crappy letter that I wrote because I really didn't want to go into the program, and uh, it was a very very short letter. Um, 
And so it says, thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to, to interview with you on so-and-so date. I'm very interested in being a resident at the internal medicine program. The hospital tour exposed me to the numerous facilities available. And uh, again, learning from the experience teaching faculty and research rotations will play. I didn't even spell check. I wrote P-A-L-Y, play a vital role in making me a much better physician. And I look forward to working with you. And uh, it's very interesting that the, the program director, um, uh, he, uh, he thought I'd interviewed very well. And I think it was just a tactic of trying to have me rank the program high. You interviewed very well with us. We really appreciate your positive views about our program. Keep us in mind when you send your final NRMP ranking list. Okay. Um, other things, like I said, um, you know, if you, if, um, you know, if, if you look at how program directors um, decide which applicant to rank high, if you look in that list, um, there is something called personal, um, if there's some personal contact by the, our personal, um, um, you know, uh, way of knowing you, that is, you know, um, if there is, if the program director knows you personally or through another attending or through an, uh, a graduate or a current resident, um, they always will uh, think of you much, uh, they, they will tend to rank you higher. And so what I did here in this letter to the program director, I, I write, furthermore, I happened to meet Dr. So-and-so at, uh, at that hospital. He's a graduate from my med school and he encouraged me to strongly consider ho this hospital for my residency training. And um, other things you can do is you can also, um, um, you know, write to the program director if there is some major change. Uh, for example, um, I think after when I wrote this letter, I got my ECFMG certification. And so I, um, I let him know that, hey, you know, I've received my ECFMG certification. Th um, I, eager I eagerly look forward to working hard as an active and motivated resident in the internal medicine program. And again, you know, morning rounds with the case discussion, MEXAP board review that must have happened at some program grand rounds like the one on HIV associated nephropathy. So maybe that's something I attended. So it kind of, you know, uh, gives a personal touch um, to, uh, to the letter. Okay, let's move on because kind of running up getting close to time. So in these are the kind of letters um, you can see. So these are letters sent by uh, applicants who interview with me. Uh, you can see this says, thank you and everything. Um, so for example, this one, uh, Dr. S uh, I, have, I hope all is well since this past week. I'm penning this note to thank you, so it's handwritten, to thank you for the time you spent interviewing me. I especially appreciate your enthusiasm about my physical examination, research, and bedside ultrasound. So remember, he, uh, this person is also trying to personalize this letter because that's something we might have discussed. I look forward to the possibility of furthering my research and ultrasound skill development. So thank you for your part of a great interview day, one that painted a picture of a great program in which I felt like I fit well. So, um, and this is just like one paragraph, which is perfectly fine too. Uh, so this is another strategy that, you know, you guys can um, uh, choose to do. Um, but do remember, remember it's gonna take time if you send it like this. Um, another one is, Dear doctor, thank you for your time and attention. Uh, this is for someone who uh, who um, had, um, uh, I wrote a letter to, and so this is uh, because that person had matched. I'm gonna talk about that later. So this is another letter from someone I interviewed. So thank you so much for the opportunity to interview with you for a uh, residency position at so-and-so. It was a pleasure speaking with you and hearing about your experiences at the university. Your enthusiasm and dedication to the residency program were evident from the beginning of our discussion. Throughout the interview day, I was able to discover the excellent education and exposure the residents receive at so-and-so. So you can see that the same uh, paragraph can be used for any program, so it's not at all personalized. So please be very careful from, I mean, you can kind of, um, um, you know, use uh, some parts that are personalized to the program and then add all this stuff that is not personalized. Um, and I think then she was trying. From our talk, I was also excited to learn about the um, hiking opportunities. Um, okay. I left my 
uh, I left my interview date th thoroughly impressed by not only the strong academics of the program and the diversity of the pathologies seen by your residents, but also with the nurturing faculty and staff. Thank you for the chance to visit your program and learn more about what it offers. I continue to be extremely interested in a residency position at so-and-so, and I hope to work with you in the future. Of course, this person did not match here, but maybe for a variety of reasons. And then sincerely name, and then the AAMCID. Maybe it'll be nice if you guys have a LinkedIn profile to kind of add uh, the LinkedIn um, profile at the end. I'm, I'm quite sure someone will click it. Um, if you add that in your uh, thank you letter. And then, so that's a letter from the residents, not the residents, from the applicants to me as, a, as, a, as an attending who interviewed them. Um, but you know, once you have written the letter to the, uh, drafted the letter to the program director, you can very much use very similar um, uh, kind of copy and paste uh, and send that uh, a very similar letter to the other teaching attendings. And so the other uh, attending letters are very, very similar to the one to the program director. And um, let's see. And again, you know, if there was something that was uh, discussed just between you and that uh, faculty member, um, you know, for example, this was someone who was very interested in teaching. Uh, so, uh, and I think we had the discussion on teaching skills. I also believe that I can greatly contribute to the program by practicing high standards of ethical clinical medicine. I've been teaching anatomy um, to nursing students at so-and-so and would like to use my teaching skills to train medical students. So um, again, you know, just to kind of um, get them thinking about you uh, when, they, when they read that letter. And uh, again, you know, um, things like I'm very impressed with the commitment of the teaching faculty to rest and training. And then let's see. So when you're going for your interviews, make sure you get the email addresses from um, from the from everyone you know who interviews you, and to send them this uh, thank you letter. Some folks, what they're going to do is they're going to send the thank you letter to the residency coordinator and then she will then forward it to you. Um, shall we send an email or a card or both? I think you should, should just send one. Um, if I had a choice, I would say uh, sending an email is better because you can do it in a very timely manner. You know it's there, they, they have received it the next day. Um, so they're gonna remember you better and um, I don't have any problems uh, sending a letter, but you know, I'm not gonna remember who that person is a week from now, uh, especially if I've interviewed so many other applicants. So it's gonna get, it's gonna get a little bit difficult if you, uh, if you send a card. If it's a card like, you know, like Christmas or something, uh, I, I've got those cards also somewhere like this, um, you know, for, uh, uh, because I think I interviewed that person somewhere around Christmas. Okay, then um, let's see. Then I have some letters here to the chief resident. The chief resident is basically another attending and the letters are gonna be very, very similar. So not much uh, to do there. And again, try to personalize it. The PowerPoint presentation by Dr. So-and-so on the interview day clearly showed the strengths of the program. Um, so you can write that. Um, the letter to the chief resident, I mean, you can try to shorten it a little bit. I mean, um, you know, uh, like for example here, I have just two paragraphs, uh, very, very, uh, very simply written. Thank you for very much for meeting with me and the other candidates on so-and-so date. I was very impressed with the facilities at so the hospital and feel that I can use them to my fullest advantage during the residency training program. It was interesting to know that the excellent camaraderie among the residents and um, and I'm also very keen to be a part of it. Should we email thanks to the PD or? Uh, I think so, yeah, I, I don't see a problem with that. Uh, you know, that's for example in the letter. So the question is, should we email thanks to program director if he or she wasn't there for the interview? I think it's perfectly fine. You know, you can say, um, um, you can write down the name of the um, faculty members you interviewed with and 
um, and still um, say, hey, you know, I'm sorry we couldn't meet, but um, uh, but I still like the program. Like I said, because the program director is the one who will um, make all the decisions about how to rank you. So you better be on their good books um, to be ranked high. Okay, then there are letters to the residents. Uh, residents who take you for a hospital tour, take you for lunch, take you for pre-interview dinner. And again, you know, the uh, the thing is you have to personalize it again. So again, you know, say this one, hello, doctor, so-and-so. Thank you very much for arranging the hospital tour and lunch on so date. I was very impressed with the facilities and feel that I can use them to my fullest advantage during the residency training program. I look forward to working with you in the internal medicine program at so-and-so. Um, the residents, a lot of time, I, I think you shouldn't do more than one paragraph or three or four lines to the residents. They're so busy, they're just going to, you know, delete it if, uh, if it's like, if it's a page long and um, okay now this one is a, a funny letter I don't know why I wrote this um, the interview so I wrote it was great to meet you all I don't know why all hmm. it was great to meet you all and learn more about the program in an informal setting so this must be the pre-interview dinner the interview with so-and-so went well um, I don't know, went well is just not a very strong word. When great should be something like that. And then I try to personalize it. For example, there was someone who got the Intern of the Year Award. And then so after the letter, I wrote PS, congrats on your Intern of the Year Award. Just so that, um, uh, you know, uh, so that hopefully they remember you. And a lot of times they're just, they're, they are gonna forward that letter to the program coordinator and uh, I sometimes I wrote like good luck for your fellowship so that went well I look forward to working with you in July you can write things like that and someone uh, I think was talking about a music system so I wrote I did check out the home theater system at Amazon but I guess I can afford it only after residency so that's just to kind of um, hopefully remember you. Lastly, letters to the program coordinators, again, very short. Um, like, thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to have an interview with Dr. So-and-so on so date. The morning rounds, director's rounds, and grand rounds were fascinating. It was great to meet the residents and learn more about the program. I appreciate your kind help and look forward to working as an active resident in the internal medicine program at so-and-so. Thanking you sincerely. And then I tried to personalize it. I wrote, I think we, we were talking about the weather and she's, uh, she might have said, okay, it is snowing in so-and-so place, just like you predicted. And then, you know, if there's a change again, like, um, uh, you know, if there's like, maybe you got your step three scores or something like that. So, the, so I wrote to the program coordinator that I've passed my uh, step two CS exam and got my ECFMG certificate last week. Um, please let me know if I need to send you a copy of my ECFMG certificate, as I did not have that at the time of the interview. Basically, some reason to send them a, an, an email. And you know, someone I think gave some gifts. It looks like thank you for the gifts too. So I wrote to one of the program coordinators. And um, missing the flight. That's again um, something. You know, if you get caught in uh, caught in a snowstorm and not able to make it to the interview, absolutely, the in, the moment you know that um, you're not, not going to be able to make it to the interview, certainly send them an email. Certainly call them if you can and leave a voice message. I think you should do both. You should basically try your very, very best to, um, to notify them as soon as you can. So this is a letter to a program coordinator. Dear Mrs. So, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to say that I will not be able to attend the interview on so-and-so date. Due to the snowstorm in the Northeast, my flight from this to this got canceled and I'm unable to fly to this today. I apologize for the inconvenience and having to inform you at the last moment, but there was nothing I could do about it. I'm still very interested in the so-and-so uh, residency at so-and-so place and would very much appreciate it if I could be rescheduled to take the interview thanking you and sorry for the inconvenience. And um, she just, uh, you know, rescheduled me for next week and uh, that went very well. 
Um, and so those are the letters. And last is, you know, of course, thank your letter writers at the end of um, after you get into the match. Um, like, dear doctor, I successfully matched at so-and-so place. I had an interview there with this doctor, and he said that he met you at uh, at so-and-so place. Thank you very much for giving me the wonderful opportunity, um, and thank you for all your help and support in my career. Sincerely. Just a very short uh, uh, email. Okay, good. So those were the letters. Um, there's a lot of stuff. It's going to take me quite some time to, you know, take um, to put this up on the group. But at least, you know, hopefully by um, by just listening to this recording again, you can kind of get most of the matter that um, that goes into a thank you letter and um, uh, and and try to write uh, like a, you know, the key is to personalize it as much as you can. Yes, it takes a lot of time and it's a lot of work, but. Uh, you, you know, uh, I see no other way out, and just uh, just kind of leave a very positive impression with the program, um, with the program director, attendings, residents, chief resident, coordinator, um, and um, and you know, and and again, if you know someone who knows the program director, uh, do mention that in your email uh, or letter to the program director. Um, just adding that personal touch or a, or a person who can recommend you to that program. I, I think that's great. Okay, so we're running out of time. Um, thank you very much, everyone. And, uh, you know, you can put in your uh, comments uh, in the group. Um, and I'll, I'll kind of uh, do my very best to answer the questions. And hope all of you have a very successful interview season. All the very best to you. Thank you.